What's up guys and welcome back to a new video. This video contains some great progression because I start getting into dungeons and of course I also make a few coins, like always. So be sure to leave a like and subscribe if you enjoy the video and let's get started. Alright so I just did a bunch more zealot grinding. I'm now 72% of the way to combat 20 and this is the loot that I got right here. 1.2 million coins in crystal fragments, a bit over 300k in superior fragments, 5.8 million coins in summoning eyes and the rest isn't really worth anything. In total I think that that was like seven and a half million coins so that's not too bad. In the meantime I'm still just bidding on more wolf talismans. So yeah I'm earning coins pretty quickly but I'm also spending them very quickly. But I've been spending the coins on upgrades that I can't use yet because they're locked behind dungeon floor completions. So it's time to start working on that and do my first few dungeon floors. I'm catacombs level 0, I haven't done a single dungeon yet, and there is no parties on the entrance floor. Okay, there's one now and I can't even join it. I guess I'm gonna have to create one myself. Alright, a level 0 archer joined, an archer level 6 joined, okay. A tank level 2, I think, okay, we're full now, let's go. I'm gonna switch out my strong chest plate for my wise chest plate, because my strong chest plate has stars and you need catacombs 12 to use it in the dungeon. How are people dying, bro? I am surviving right now and everybody else is dying. How do you die in the entrance floor? If even I am surviving, then I don't know how these other guys are dying. I haven't done dungeons in so long. I don't really remember any secrets anymore. There's a dragon room here. Hopefully I don't die. How much does this do? Okay, not that much, I don't think. Okay, he's actually killing me. I need to head out. Okay, he followed me in here. I don't know if I was hoping for that. It should kill him. Yup, there we go. I'm just the best, bro. Did that level up my catacombs? Yeah, I'm almost catacombs level two. Wow. All right, I'm now gonna try and join a floor one party. It doesn't look like there's any floor one parties up. Okay, there's a mage 10 party here. I'm just gonna join as a berserk one and hope I don't get kicked. Okay, we're joining a floor one. Let's see how this goes. I'm just gonna run through here and kill everything. I wasn't expecting to actually be able to survive this. Let's see if I survive against Bonzo, I guess. I wanna hit him with my Aurora staff. I feel like it does decent damage. Okay, that got like 10k. Oh, he's angry at me now, but he's gonna die. There we go. Okay, and we got an S. Nice. I got nothing good. I'll just take the free chest. 333 kata experience though. Let's see, what is my kata level now? I'm kata 4. Okay, well I'm just gonna do some more floor 1 runs I think. I don't know what this is, but I just got a balloon snake. I guess I'll take that. Apparently it's like 400k or something. Oh wait, it's actually 540k. One hour later. Alright, I'm now attempting a floor 2. I've done 10 floor 1s and I'm now catacombs level 8. So let's see if that is good enough for a floor 2. My catacombs level isn't actually doing anything right now because I'm not using any dungeonized items. I think I'm surviving pretty well right now. It's going okay. I'm just hoping floor two gives a decent amount of catacombs experience. I just want to work my way up to catacombs level 14 because then I can do floor five. And once I get the floor five completion, I unlock a lot of good gear. Let's see how this fight against Scarf is gonna go. I'll just go for this guy, I guess, the warrior. Hopefully it doesn't insta-kill me. All right, I'm tanking his hits. All right, the warrior's dead right here. There we go. All right, it's taking a little bit, but the priest is gonna die here as well. There we go. And let's now fight Scarf and get this S+. And there we go, he's dead. 400 kata XP, that's all right. I got a fuming potato book. I don't know if that's profit. I don't know how much fumings are going for right now. I don't even have enough coins to buy it, so I guess I'll just take the free chest. All right, but I'm able to do a floor two. That's pretty nice. I'm just gonna try and join more floor two parties now. Oh, there we go. Combat level 20. I can now enter the Zella Bruiser hideout. This was my Catacombs 10 run, and I just got a red scarf, which apparently is pretty good profit, so I'll take that. The chest costs 200k to buy, I'm pretty sure, so let's see how much I can sell it for. Okay, on a sell offer, it's going for 650,000 coins, so yeah, that is actually good profit. Oh, wait, what the hell? I got a scarf studies and an adaptive belt. I don't even know what that is. The scarf studies is more profit, though, so I'm gonna buy this first, but I'll buy a dungeon and chest can also get the adaptive belt all right so that's an extra 100k now if i go to the dungeon hub all right and that's another 500k profit apparently adaptive belt i'm gonna list for 950k and the scarf studies i'm also going to list for 950k so there we go nice all right it's now the next run and i got a scarf studies for 100k so that's 900k profit that is very nice but since that one is so cheap i'm just gonna keep it actually i'll replace it with the common talisman i have right now i'll just 
take out the village affinity talisman and put that in. It's a rare talisman worth 1 million, which I got for 100k, so I might as well just keep it. All right, this is going to be the last floor two run of the day. Okay, I got absolutely nothing, but I did get catacombs level 11. So I'm three catacombs levels away from being able to do a floor five. And I've just been queued into another dungeon run. So I guess I'm doing one more. But tomorrow I'm hoping to get into some floor 3 and also get a floor 4 completion. And then also get a kata 14, get a floor 5 completion. And then I can use some new gear. Okay, I'm actually quite glad I was teleported into this last run. I just got a recombobulator. How much profit is that? Oh, it's only 1.5 mil. I thought recoms were higher than that. Still, that's 1.5 mil though. And I don't have enough coins. I can claim 3.5 mil from there. And I also have 3 mil in the bank, so no. Nice. All right, if I now do this, there we go. Recombobulator, get that. 1.5 million coins profit, I'll take it. I was just doing a dungeon run. It was also my Kata 12 run. And this guy kept partying me and he just asked me if I wanted to buy wolf talismans. All right, interesting. Yeah, I guess I'll pay 1 mil each, sure. So I can now craft four more wolf rings and I can make like three and a half mil profit off of all of this. But yeah, I literally just hit Kata 12. So I can now use my dungeon eye strong chest plate in dungeon. Dungeons. I also made these 5 star fierce skeleton soldier boots because in dungeons they're a little bit better than my strong dragon boots. And I also got a bunch more profits in this chest right here. There's a recombobulator but I don't have the coins to buy it. And then if I take out a dungeon chest key in the run before that... I also got another 500k profit from an adaptive belt. But yeah, I don't even have the money for that either. I just joined a floor 3 party. It says S plus carrying friend. We have a level 24 berserk and a level 24 archer. So I think I'm gonna get my first floor 3 completion here. Okay, these mobs are a lot stronger than in floor 2. Yeah, I am not quite strong enough to take on these mobs. But I do think we're gonna get the completion this run, so that's nice. How much damage am I even doing? Like 45k right now? 43k? 44k? Yeah, I'm not doing high damage. Alright, apparently we're just doing comp now instead of S or S plus or whatever it was, so that's unfortunate. It's still a free floor 3 carry though, so I'll take it. All right, there we go. Let's see how much catacombs XP that gave me. Okay, almost a thousand. Wow, and we got a B. All right, well, I guess I'm just gonna continue doing floor threes with these guys. All right, we're now doing a floor four. These guys said they wanted to try to do a floor four, so I said, sure. These mobs are even stronger, so yeah, it's very hard for me to get kills in here. All right, I think I'm just supposed to go up. It's not like I'm gonna be dealing any damage down there, so I'll just stay here. All right, there we go. B, but 2.3 thousand catacombs XP, I'll take it. Damn, I'm now catacombs level 13 already. I just need one more level and then I can join a floor 5. I'm gonna be doing a few more floor 4 runs with these guys and hopefully get the catacombs level 14. And then I should be able to get the floor 5 completion. Okay, did that level up my catacombs level? Damn. I decided to just join a random floor 3 party. This guy with the Hyperion is doing a carry, I guess, I don't really know. But this should get me to kata 14 and then I need to go join a floor 5. Okay, now... Nice, S, almost S plus. And I didn't get anything good, okay. But I am now catacombs level 14. Two of my wolf talismans sold and I had a few coins in the bank so I can now afford that recombobulator. Here we go, recombobulator, 5.5 million coins. And if I now go to the hub, I can sell that for 7 million. Nice, so 1.5 more profit. All right, it doesn't look like there's any carry parties going on right now. So I'm just gonna ask Mr. Coast out because I ask him for all my carries. I'll just pay him 250k. I think that's a fair price for a floor 5 completion. In the meantime, I'm actually gonna buy some enchanted sugarcane. I'm just gonna buy two for 220,000. And I'm gonna buy two brewing stands, two nether wart, and six water bottles. And I'm quickly gonna brew speed potions. Not because I need the speed, but because speed potions give a ton of alchemy experience. And my alchemy is currently at level 0. So I think I can get it to like level 15 or something with only 2 potions. So yeah, that is what I'm gonna do real quick. Alright, let's do that. I am now alchemy level 13 from that. And if I claim these, I am now alchemy level 15 as I expected. But that's gonna be it for this video. You guys will see me get my floor 5 completion in the next video as well as a ton of gear upgrades. And I promise that that video is also going to be better than this one because I know this video was very mid. I really need to get on the grind again and start making bangers instead of these boring videos. So I promise the next video is gonna be a good one. Thank you for watching this video. Be sure to leave a like and subscribe and I hope you have a good day. Goodbye.